just if you don't know me or are new to this page, I spent uh, just about 17 years in the military, 14 of which, just about 14 of which were at uh, Tier 1 Special Operations Unit called JTF-2. Our sniper team has the world record for the longest confirmed sniper kill. Um, and a huge part of our job while I was there and while I was a sniper um, was doing close protection for VIPs up to and including the, the Prime Minister when he would go to you know, dangerous countries like Iraq or Afghanistan. Uh, we would be in charge of that security. So I'm very familiar with the layout of these types of things and what the jobs should be. I have, I have no doubts in my mind that the shooter had help from somewhere within an agency, an organization, or the government. Um, the second I saw that aerial photo of, of what they were saying happened, it immediately made no sense to me. You cannot, in broad daylight, get onto a rooftop within, it looked like maybe a couple hundred yards, um, if that. You can't get into that position with a gun when there's a president speaking. It cannot be done. It's, it's not like you don't even need to be a sniper. You know, if, if the story that comes out is like, oh yeah, he snuck into position and he... He got set up and nobody saw him. It was an oversight, security, and overwatch, and we just made a mistake. Sorry. I think it's also very weird that if that's the case and someone is good enough to stalk within 150 to 200 yards of one of the hardest to stalk targets in the whole world, uh, you're not going to miss a shot. You're not going to miss that shot. Like, if you have the skill set to get in there, avoiding all of these security um the, all different layers of security then you will have the skill set to hit that hit that first round um it just it doesn't make any sense